Why is Reddit going crazy about 78 billion lines and what is this shuff utility? As someone who was alive and uh, generally browsing Reddit at the time that this was posted, I thought I'll give you all a sneak peek of what's going on here and why are people referencing 78 billion lines and this shuff utility. Later I'll try to recreate the scenario and use shuff to verify whether we can actually accomplish a mammoth task in one minute. Let's go. On 27th May at roughly 6.33 UTC, this Redditor by the name Nexwist posted this meme on r slash programmer humor with the title The Joys of Stack Overflow. Shuff minus M blah 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 blah. This right here is the comment which caught everyone's eye. Shuff is fantastic. I tried it on a 78 billion line text file and it did the job in less than one minute. 78 billion line text file. The what? How can this person be so casual about a 78 billion line text file? It is not normal. If this was a typo and was supposed to be a million, then man, that was a hell of a typo. B and M have this distance of N key. So this is the original question. In a bash script, I want to pick out N random lines from input file and output to another file. How can this be done? The shuff tool, short for shuffle, I guess, is designed to accomplish exactly that. And this is the most upvoted answer. There are even a few comments supporting this answer and saying that shuff is generally fast and out of nowhere, nowhere, Ash drops this comment saying that they tried shuff on a 78 billion line text file. And it did the job in less than a minute apparently. 78 billion line text file is an absurdly large text file. I mean, have you heard about this book called The Bible? That's 3 million characters. So even if you put all those characters on its own line, you will need 26,000 Bibles to actually create this 78 billion line file with just one character on every line. It kind of begs the question, right? What the hell is in this file? And why, why, why do you have it? And on top of that, this comment claims that it did the job in one minute. I doubt any program running any kind of job on this large file can do anything in less than one minute. Just reading the file in the memory will take more than a minute. But Shaf did the job in less than a minute. So this quickly caught the fancy of Redditors and they started flooding 78 billion memes. Some of these memes even I don't understand. Where should I store all the players? Just use a text file. Blah 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 blah, some python code. Blah. I don't get it. <laughs> it was like 78 billion lines of text. You Shaf. It's fantastic. Does the job in less than one minute. Even the comments are like, this meme is spreading like really fast. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, we can keep a track of it in the text file. When you use shuff with a file of 78 billion lines, this little maneuver is gonna cost us less than a minute. <laughs> I looked forward in time and saw 78 billion futures. How did you see them all so quickly? I used shuff. I only lost 400 lines, so my shuff is adding more. I'm back to 78 billion lines. I mean, the, the, some of them are funny and you know what happened? The search for shuff just shot up and then drop just as quickly because you know there were more memes but as you can see the moderators started removing them because they i guess felt that these were reaction posts and not allowed by the community or the community rules and it wasn't just me who thought it's getting crazy because there are cap comments like this one it's amazing to me that we have gone from funny new meme format to oversaturation of sad format to meta memes about the memes ubiquity on reddit within about a day the internet's wild man i mean it did not even take us one day to make it ubiquitous on reddit and now it's fading away from my memory in just three days a few of them are cached by google so hopefully you can watch them before <laughs> the cache expires so talking about the whole 78 billion and the shuff fiasco has really made me curious can this tool do the job in under a minute? So today, I'll be finding out whether Ash lied to us or if the shuff 
is really that fast. Let me quickly open my terminal. So I've made this folder to work with and now let me open some line text here. Although before we move on, I should warn you that I use Ruby and I know other YouTube channels have basically proclaimed it to be dead and that Python is the only lone survivor out there. So please just bear with me. I am sorry having wrong indentation doesn't throw an error here. I hope you understand. So the first thing that we need is a file with 78 billion lines. I guess I should first create that. But before we start that, let's just do some calculations on how much free file system do we need. So let me open IRB and require the library. So what I'll do is I'll create a file with the text 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, up to 78 billion on each line. This way we get a file of 78 billion lines. 80% or more lines will have a value of greater than 10 billion. So we can roughly assume that each line is of that size. So that's 12. That's 872 GB with just 12 bytes per line. I guess it isn't far fetched for a log file for a big service, for a popular service. But reading this file will be a task. And also, I don't have 872 GB on this hard disk. I am sorry, I just have to reduce the file size. So, let's write the code to actually create this file. Now obviously this code is enough but we will not get any sort of feedback on how far it is because it will just keep on writing. So what we'll do is we'll run a parallel thread and that will basically tell us the progress. Yeah, there it is. Our program that will create a 78 billion line text file. Oh, and one more thing. Uh, I think we should add an elapsed time. Awesome. So, I think they should do it. Let's run this file. <sighs> okay, four seconds. It took four seconds. This is adding something like seven million lines for every three seconds. I'm sorry if this is <laughs> irritating, it's just. The word's not going anywhere, guys. So if 7 million lines are written every 3 seconds, that would mean something like 140 million lines every minute. Oh my god, that's going to take a lot. 600 minutes or so? I don't know, it's just a rough calculation in my mind. But my goodness, we don't have that much of time. What I'll do is I'll just let it run for, I think, a couple of more minutes. And then we'll come back and see how long of a file we have and can we use shuff on it. In the meantime, so it looks like we are getting close to the, I guess 1% mark of 78 billion, which is uh, 780 million. Uh, should I just stop it here? I guess yeah. All right, so we were able to do it. Not really do it, do it, but we were able to create a file of one percent size of this legendary by now seventy-eight billion line text file. All right, are you excited to check this ultra fast shuff command? I know I am. So, 3, 2, why am I getting nervous? 1, go. 1% 1 of the file, it took 37 seconds. For the 100% of the file, it will take 3, 7, double, 0 seconds. It's nowhere near close to our original estimate of 1 minute. Although I think Shaf is probably using just one processor here uh, out of the 16 cores available. I mean 3700 divided by I guess 16 if I have 16 of these cores. It's still 231 seconds. It's still way 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 more than a minute. So Ash, but you lied to us. Why did you do that? Maybe you meant 78 million. We'll never know.
has this guy changed it to a million? Nope. It still says 78 billion. <laughs> Even after this popularity, I guess. This person must be thinking, why am I getting upwards on a four-year-old comment? Anyway, you've established yourself of being a legend. Albeit on lies. I'm honestly disappointed. I just wanted Shuff to be this magical team. Uh, anyway, I hope you all like whatever this was. I'll be posting weekly videos for developers, you know, just entertainment for developers is what I'm looking for. Hopefully this was entertaining. So yeah, if you found this entertaining, uh, please leave a like, a comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter and please come back next week again where hopefully I'll have another one of these videos. See you next week. Did you tell I was just learning?